this article covers installation of one or more electric AC power production sources operated in parallel with a primary source of electricity. What's a primary source of electricity? Well, there's an informational note for that. Examples of types of primary sources include utility supply or an on-site on electric power source. It could be a large diesel generator on an island, for instance, that we're interconnecting with uh, as the primary source. But most often, in most of the systems in the United States, the primary source is going to be the utility. And that is differentiated from the power production sources that we're talking about in here. So that's why we put these things on different um, uh, levels here. We're interconnecting these different power sources together and we're setting the rules for how to do that and how to do that safely. Um, historically, if we look back over time, the way that we connected two power sources to a building was often through a transfer switch. So the utility supplied power most of the time, and if the utility power went away, we had a transfer switch that was either a manual or automatic. It would transfer over to a diesel generator, for instance, and that diesel generator would start and begin to power those loads when it came up to speed. Okay, that's old school, that's historic, that's done all over the United States and continues to be and will be forever. However, we now have these new things called interconnected power sources. And when we interconnect AC power sources, what do we have to do? Well, they have to play nice with each other. They actually have to know how to interconnect. They have to know how to parallel. That is not a simple thing to do when you're dealing with AC power that's changing direction 120 times a second, okay? So because of that, this equipment is not your grandfather's uh, power source equipment. This stuff is the real deal. Lots of electronics, lots of computers working very quickly. Um, and these things can work together at the same time. They can work with the utility connected and without the utility connected, which is in huge uh, de departure from an optional standby system, which is generally designed to operate only when the utility has failed and has been physically isolated. So this is a different animal. 705 covers everything else. Okay, if you have multiple power systems on a building and they're not connected at the same location, well, you gotta follow the rules of 705.10. Here's 705.10. And this says that we have to have a plaque at each one of the connection points that says caution, multiple sources of power. Of course, the, the service is gonna have this placard on it and it's gonna show where all these other sources are connected. However, if everything's co-located at the same place, coming into the same location, we're not required to have a separate plaque. And that's what this exception is talking about. 